Welcome to my effective how-to videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom teal cable. When you go to the hardware store, unfortunately, the cables that are on the shelf, they are not exactly what you want. The, the lens, the diameter, thus the interest to be able to do those uh, custom cut and to put yourself the ferrule. As you know, the clamping tool is very expensive. It's a big tool. It takes a lot of space in the workshop. I'm going to show you how to do it with the home base, always available tools that you have in your house or in your workshop. With my simple technique, you need only three tools a hammer, a small punch, and a vice grip. I, I prepare the, the wire, I prepare the, the wire rope with the ferrule, you see, I'm building the loop here. Preparing to do the loop, here we go. And I am going to use this grip that I have. So I'm going to put it right in the middle here as you can see. It's important that on the bottom the ferrule is slightly lower uh, than the, the vice grip itself. Why? Because we are going to uh, hammer on it so you can see it should be a little bit below that surface so that when I put it on my brick uh, it's not the clamp which is going to uh, uh, hit the ground but the ferrule itself. Here we go. The first thing that I am going to do based on the length of the ferrule, I'm going to try to put three hole punches on one side and two on the other. I'm going to start with one here. And keep in mind it's aluminum. You don't need to hammer very hard for it to work. Let me make sure that you see that. You see? Here we go right in the middle I start already to have the beginning of the the punch there we go going to block the wire rope on one side now I'm going to reopen it And I am going to tighten the cable on the other side. Why? Because I want to make sure that it's properly fastened on that side. So again, here we go. Going to put a little bit more grip. Here we go. I pull on the cable here very hard. And now I'm going to punch it. On the other side, I'm going to put three punches. On this side, too. I'm going to alternate. I begin to put the two. <clears throat> what you want to do is, when you have pre-punch as I've done, you take a small vice grip and you are going to block the ferrule just by pushing it so that you have the nice loop there we go. You see the nice loop which is well clamped like that. Now that it's well clamped, 
with the small vice grip, you put it back with the, the big one, which is just going to hold it in position so that you can uh, hammer punch the ferrule. There you go. Not too deep. A little bit. Now we are going to reverse it on the other side. Actually I'm going to remove it. I think now it's, uh, it's hard enough. It's not going to slide anymore. That's correct. I'm just checking. There you go. And now on this side, I'm going to do three holes. One. Perhaps I should magnify a little bit for you guys so that you see it better. Here we go. So you see I alternate Here we go, very strong. If there is a little bit of play here, you can always widen the with a screwdriver. Here we go. And now I can tell you. So you see three three here, two on the other side. So what have I been using as tools? Only tools that you have readily available in your workshop. So let me zoom out. One screwdriver, one hammer, two grips, a small one and a large one, and a punch. So basically, you are not spending any money. Those are readily available tools. Uh, because the specialized uh, grip, uh, the, the swagging tool is going to cost you hundreds of dollars. So here is the result. On that side, uh, professionally made. And on this side, I would say professionally made without spending money. If you have any questions, you can ask them through the comment section. And also, there might be a sponsor link if, uh, nonetheless, you want to buy a, a swagging tool. Thank you very much to, to watch this video. And do not hesitate to ask any questions on the comments section. Thank you very much.